Atheists who later became religious. What made you convert? Needs a serious tag cause I was genuinely curious to read people's responses. C.S. Lewis was an atheist turned Christian. Mere Christianity is a great read if you're interested. That was the book that did it for me. Not a complete convert. But I used to be atheist. Now I'm agnostic. Before my mints had changed. All I ever saw or heard about religion was the Bible thumpers. Holier than thou people. And Westboro Baptist Church a holes. Since then I've met some wonderful people who just happen to be religious. Visited a church whose message was about uplifting people, rather than scaring them into being sheep to avoid hell. They preached compassion, instead of hate. Since then I opened up with some of my more religious relatives whom I trust. And they also helped me to consider perspectives I hadn't been open to before. Still not particularly religious. But I have a lot more respect and goodwill towards people who are religious now. Just not towards the ones who act like their faith makes them better than others. P. It's funny. It's just like the political divide. Democrats think all Republicans are racist rednecks. Republicans think all Democrats are socialist hippies. The truth is, most are right in the middle. Yup. Plus both sides think everyone on the other side is corrupt. While conveniently forgetting their own shamefully corrupt representatives. Although my comment was about faith. Not politics. Maybe we should save this discussion for another thread. Good point. I met people who really practiced their faiths and asked them questions about the validity of their religions. Before that I hadn't really met someone who was solidly a believer and practicer. So it was quite intriguing for me to learn about. Their lifestyles and demeanor stuck out to me. They were genuinely happy people and at first I resented it. But it's because I wanted it. I did lots of soul searching and questioning myself. Am I just going into this because I want to be like them? Or am I genuinely seeking something greater beyond what life on earth offers me? It was obviously a gradual thing. I stopped doing drugs and binge drinking. I stopped being promiscuous. I changed my ways to the point I eventually stopped talking to friends for a while as I discovered my true self. I came to realize all those things were ways of me coping with parts of my life where I was hurting and hiding from it. I had to learn to forgive others for abusing and hurting me to be free from it. One of the biggest turning points was when I went to confession for the first time. As soon as I sat down I broke down crying because I felt such heavy guilt for where I have done wrong and failed to do what is right. It was such a relieving experience and I felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders that I didn't realize was there in the first place. My journey has drastically changed who I became. Even just how different our look still baffles me. It has humbled me to know firsthand that no matter what kind of life you are living, no matter the bad things you've done, as unforgivable as you might think, you deserve the love, peace, and freedom that God so desperately wants us to have. Edit. It's funny you all are assuming I'm a guy. I'm a girl. Thanks for all the upvotes. I was so surprised to come back to this. Peace. Stop downvoting people asking genuine questions. I absolutely love these discussions. Of course not everything is shared here. My conversion was predominantly spiritual. Not intellectual. There's no words to fully explain it all. And it's just my experience. I'm not trying to convince anyone. Some of you all are offended for some reason lol. Thanks for the response buddy this was lovely to read. I was tired of throwing my life away because I had nothing going for myself anymore. I finally realized I had such a negative impact on life and after hearing about Phil Robertson's story and how becoming Christian helped him, I decided I'd put some of my faith in God. 2. I have felt a lot happier and a lot luckier. Unfortunately, my whole family is really strong atheist and they wouldn't understand or believe me if I told them I wanted to get baptized and confess. Unfortunately, my whole family is really strong atheist and they wouldn't understand or believe me if I told them I wanted to get baptized and confess. That is unfortunate. I'm an atheist who believes most mainstream religion is harmful to people. But I would still take my child to be baptized and be a part of their journey. Hopefully they come around for yours. I'd assert that even after you accept or convert to religion, 
That's just the beginning. The practice of that religion is a lifetime pursuit. And there is doubt mixed in with discovery. The intellectual arguments for atheism are sincere to me. But the seat of faith is just as much, if not more a heart-driven yearning than an intellectual one. At least it was for me and mine is the only perception I can reliably draw from. Not that you divorce your mind from your heart, but rather find that balance that allows you to maintain your own safety, e. g. comma. Avoiding cults or manipulative leaders, while letting go of the limitations that your need for safety can impose on you. There is emotion and inspiration in faith that transcends logic and intellect, but you can't know this, or even adequately describe it, unless you take that chance. I'm an atheist myself. But I absolutely admire the mindset of faith. Having your heart in something 100%. I was raised religious but looking back, I just could not believe the stories I was told about my religion. I went through the whole science is the answer and you're stupid, if you believe BS. But I'm past all that, and can see just how much a healthy religious community can bring people together. Science and religion aren't inherently incompatible. I would say, that we have laws of physics, because there is a lawmaker, or an arbitrary system of functions just exists, and is perceived without the intervention of an entity? That is also a possibility, although it is one, that I don't consider. For me, all the questions of creation, science, etc have been answered to my satisfaction. I suppose it all just depends on your worldview. Because I needed a higher power to keep me sober. Always wondered. In AA, can't higher power mean something other than religion? What I mean is, if you are just a hardcore atheist with absolutely zero interest in finding faith, can't you just skip that step, or recognize that your addiction is the higher power, or like gravity or something? It doesn't fit here 100%, but I felt bad whenever my mom said she'd pray for something. I don't usually feel the need. But if a family member or someone religious that I care for asks me to pray, I say I will, and I pray to the best version of myself, the me that I know I can be. That way I'm not lying to them, and I'm not appealing to a deity I don't believe in. I was raised in a secular Jewish family, but have recently been studying the Torah and Talmud. I think it is partially for comfort. But also, I like how Judaism leaves so much open for interpretation and debate. I have not gained a strong faith in God per se, but I think of my study as an exercise in mindfulness. It gives me a moment to think about the person I would like to be. It also makes me feel connected to my family and community. I like having traditions that aren't just for my family, they're for an entire international community. It's important to me that these traditions survive, and I would like to be part of that. Judaism is great. The encouragement for discussion and argument and doubt is fantastic. Lots of Jews don't believe in God the way followers of other religions do. It's not actually a requirement. Feels good, man. I read the Quran with an open mind. Did research on the things I didn't understand. Believed in it, but didn't want to convert or practice, because I felt religion was an outdated practice. After about half a year I realized that as an atheist I always found it hypocritical for people who believed in a religious text to not practice it. So I started practicing. Here I'm 10 plus years later, a Muslim alhamdulillah. Watch out. You weren't allowed to say the M word on Reddit. Read the Jitter for School project. It just resonates with what I believed. Hard work is rewarded, if done with sincerity. How is it a thread about finding religion is filled 90% with people sitting here talking about how smart they are not to be religious. We got it. You don't believe. No one is going to change their mind, because you talked down to them on Reddit so move it along. Oh I know. I was all set to make a post, but every single one has some insecure weirdo that needs to prove their intellectual and or moral superiority. A scred it is absolutely cancerous sometimes. Same. I kind of had a story, but didn't feel like fighting with a bunch of self-righteous stinks. Hope. Life is objectively terrible, and we are all insignificant in the grand scheme of things. I'd rather condition myself to believe in an eternal paradise and a greater meaning than accept whatever the fuck this is. My simple answer is this. I got tired of the nothingness. With atheism. Life was just be born. Eat. Reproduce. And die. With that. 
Why would I want to deal the hardships of life? Why should I care about anyone or anything? Why should I have goals? Instead of trying to master something, why not just try a little bit of everything just for fun and subsequently accomplish nothing? There was no point to any of this. There was nothing to look forward to. There was no reason for anything. I was a full-on atheist by the time I was 10, which gave me no foundation for life. I was just floating through, with no reason or purpose for anything. By the time I was 22, being obviously already born, I was eating well, and I had already reproduced. So I had nothing left in life, except the nothingness of death. I lived my life in fear of death, and fearing the death of others. I knew that, once death had me, that was it. Nothing more. Since death was the end, I thought I had to take full advantage of this one short life. But for what? Why bother? There's no point anyway. Do you see the contradiction there? I didn't want to die. But I also didn't want to live. Atheism sucks. It's empty and pointless. Atheism simply says that nothing is better than something. I lived 45 years of my life as an atheist. But the nothingness just came to be too much to bear. I had no experience that converted me. There was no person that convinced me of anything. I didn't have any religious visions. I didn't experience a tragedy. No apparitions came to me. I didn't witness any miracles. My conversion was completely voluntary. I was sick of the nothingness. Your answer is basically a summary of the book of Ecclesiasts. I'm happy you've found your way out of nothingness. I wouldn't say I've become religious. But I've come to realize that the argument between atheism and religion is much much more complicated than just the universe isn't 6,000 years old dummy. People are asked for sincere answers. And the euphoric power of the almighty neckbedden trilby invades and puts words in their mouths. Why don't you go study the blade or some shit and let people talk? Seriously. It you get human trash who haven't showered in months looking to argue because mommy dragged them to church and they are still bitter. How about this for a reason to denounce atheism? The majority of atheists are repulsive degenerates and you don't want to associate with them. The vocal majority. Let's be fair to the comprehensive atheists who are totally cool with religious peeps. Or we are being as bad as those we denounce. Vocal minority I'd say. It's like judging Islam based on ISIS. Yeah they're loud, but they clearly don't represent millions of Muslims. As a former staunch atheist that changed their mind. To all the people trying to use this thread as an opportunity to try to dispute why people turn to religion. Your why. It's weird how so many of us who are atheists found our first doubts in the actions of others in our religion. And you had the same experience going the other way. I guess the takeaway is people are never as good. If you judge a group by its worst attributes then it's easy to never want to label yourself along with them. So the lesson is just never join any group ever. Got it. The lesson I was going for was actually about not judging. Still. Probably best to just not join groups. Lost a bet with God. No fiddle of gold for you. I wouldn't be caught dead in. Georgia. Edit. I went a different route. Reference at the end. HTTPS. Slash slash YouTube com slash watch v equals 5 b e y x j b f r d g and f e a t u r e equals s h a r e he already told that son of a bitch once that line always bothered me lucifer is a child of god so when johnny calls him a son of a bitch angels are not children of god psychedelics curious as to which religion you found if you don't mind me asking the church of lds or was it lsd yes for me it was hitting rock bottom due to depression and other factors. Took a chance and prayed to God. I had a billion reasons as to why he couldn't be real but I legit ran out of options and made each request and plea very specific. All my prayers were eventually answered. Legit had the same thing happen. Get specific with your prayers. Speak them into existence. I've gotten crazy with it and tested it like a science experiment. Works for me every time. It's almost eerie. The worst part is that it's like you figured out a cheat code for life, but then you forget it and go back to wondering if it's real. It's funny how this basically just turned into people telling other people why they are wrong. Yet again. Well this is Reddit. One can hope for better, but it's probably asking for too much. True. 
I'm still atheist. But the one thing that suggests higher power that I can't put behind me is my own sentience. I know that a rock isn't sentient. And I know that I am via descarts. According to evolutionary theory, at some point between a rock or, more specifically, non-sentient atoms forged in stars and me, sentience somehow emerged from nothing. I can see how chance and natural selection could have led to the neurons in my brain being organized the way they are. Billions of years is a long time. But that doesn't explain why I'm sentient. That is. Why I'm able to perceive myself. It's hard to describe exactly what I'm talking about. One conclusion would be that my sentience is an illusion. But then I couldn't trust anything. Including my understanding of reality. Which would make it impossible to conclude whether or not there is a god. I'm still very far away from any specific religion. Though. Although I do believe Christianity to be the best at balancing the individual with the community. So I follow much of their moral teachings. But with the understanding that they were written by humans who were simply doing their best to explain morality. And should not be assumed to be infallible.